Hi, my loves. Okay, so I have been gone for a little bit now. Um, I'm sorry. I just, to be honest, I needed time for myself and I just have been sick of the trolls and stuff like that and all the toxicity not just not on youtube honestly it's more of like tiktok i've been having uh issues with and um it wasn't it was just a lot of things all at once and then the whole thing um so we are unboxing nail boxy so i might as well start opening that while i explain oh also just real quick i got a new phone um this is just one of my phones. I am getting the new Galaxy Z Flip, but that's not coming out until the end of the month. So that's not going to get shipped till then. I uh, left T-Mobile and went to AT&T because T-Mobile was just really, really bad. So I went to AT&T and I decided to get this because it was on sale for like 600 bucks instead of like 1400 like it was originally for. So I got this it's so cool so it's a phone and a tablet i actually have my pin upstairs so there this is a microsoft surface duo so it's pretty much like a microsoft but a microsoft surface but in a phone form but also like a tablet it's so dope i understand it's not the traditional phone where like you could just answer it like this it is something to get used to but it is so freaking dope like Touchscreen is amazing on it. Um, fingerprint is right here, right? So then that opens up and it's just like super, super freaking cool. Like, I don't know how to explain it. And you can do two screens at once of two different things. So you could be texting, watching YouTube, watching a movie, researching. You could do anything on two different apps running at the same time. Um, and you could, you know, watch like a show like this, tinted up, like it's, it could go tinted, like a tint form, you know, it could go like this, you could actually just keep it backwards like this, so the one side would, um, if you want it to be, the one side will just be blank. And then this side will be, and then I have like a cool pink keyboard. But anyways, okay, so enough of that. I'm not doing like a full review or nothing. But, and the bumper comes with it. So like this bumper actually came with it. So I thought that was actually really nice of them. Anyways, so yeah, so ever since the whole acrylics thing, for some reason, all my videos are getting reported on TikTok. So I wasn't on TikTok because I didn't want to be on, but then when I wanted to come back, actually six of my videos were reported. And I mean, I'm talking about videos going back all the way in May, the beginning of May. Yeah. So, um... And it just so happened that the day they were reporting was the same day that I commented on a YouTuber's video about how, um, like, was it an honest review? Because she was um, reviewing in acrylics. And all I asked was, was it an honest review or did you get paid to do that review? Because it seems like people that are truly honest, they don't like her acrylics. It's only like bigger people that say that they like it, but in reality, they never use it again. It's always influencers that give her good reviews. So I'm a little aggravated with the fact that she has 4.4 million followers and millions of followers on each platform, but she chooses to bully and incite trolling onto my page all because she can't deal with the fact that someone doesn't like her acrylics like to be honest I never had any problem with her per se because I didn't know her I never went on her page I never knew all I know is that I seen her videos circulating around on YouTube and things like that um, but I never like went to her page and like watched any of her videos um, so I didn't know her I had nothing bad to say about her because I didn't know her 
I mean, she could feel some type of way that I didn't like her acrylics. That's fine. But it's super unprofessional and actually kind of pathetic um, as a business owner to go after someone that doesn't like your acrylic, number one. Um, tag them in a video to incite trolling and to incite bullying, you know. And then as a woman, I don't respect you as a woman now. So now I really don't like her as a person. So before I only didn't like her acrylics. Now I actually don't like her because she kind of showed like her true colors and what type of thing she is. Like what type of woman would actually do that just because someone doesn't like their acrylics? Like, I mean, that's... like really people are not gonna like you there are celebrities and stars out there that people absolutely adore them but there's also a group of people that don't like them and think they're trash actors and actresses does that stop them does that stop their money flow does that stop anything about them no do they troll people do they go after people that don't like them no that just goes to show what type of person she is. You know what I'm saying? So now I don't like her. So if anyone ever asked me about her, I'm going to say I don't like her. Because now I don't. Because now she made it personal. When in before, it was literally I do reviews. I buy products, review them, try them out. So that was just a review. Now, now it's personal. So every chance I get, I will trash her products. Why can I not open this freaking box? I don't understand. Oh, there it is. Duh. I was trying not to have my uh, address shown. So people already told me what was in this dang box. So I'm a little aggravated already about it. I don't even care to open this damn thing. So, if any of y'all are on Instagram, y'all know that Nail Boxy monthly subscription is no more. They are only doing, um, like, surprise boxes or whatever the hell they want to call it. I am drinking my bang. Um, but, yeah, so supposedly they are not doing uh, monthly boxes anymore. So I feel like they knew they weren't going to be doing these anymore. So let me open this box and then I'll explain why. Models one. Seriously, this ch cheap ass China shit. Bull, like this is, this actually makes me mad. That they literally gave us this cheap ass shit. That really makes me mad. Because for $30, I don't want Models 1. If I wanted Models 1, I'd go in there and get my own promo code. And get all this shit for free with my $30. I, I don't need you buying me Models 1. So that right there makes me really, really mad. I think that's bullshit. There should not... They should never have... I mean, come on now. Models 1 is, is known... For the cheapest possible crap ever. And I'm actually mad that I spent $30 on this shit. And they don't do refunds. They're sneaky little fucks. I'm actually really mad at Nail Boxy. And I'm glad that they're not doing monthly boxes anymore. I was upset at first. But now, so for me... This is what I think. Because with Models 1, I've bought off of Models 1 before, right? And with Models 1, once you spend like $35, you get this, this, and this free. Once you spend $60, you get this, this, this free. Once you spend $100, you get this, 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 this free. And you get higher uh, percentages off. So they knew that they were going out of business as far as the monthly boxes. But they wanted to make money off of us before telling us that's what it was and i wish i would have freaking canceled like everyone else did because a lot of people that i know that got nail boxy with that trash box that they did last month 
So they already knew that they were going to cancel. Ever since they had those problems with that company holding their stuff hostage, they screwed us over last month and they screwed us over this month. They knew what they were going to stop. They knew that they were going to stop the company. So they decided to get the cheapest shit possible and not get any good company for us like they used to do. And then they waste our money buying a poly gel kit. I'm pissed. I will never support Nail Boxy ever again. And I honestly suggest none of you to support it. Because this is the bullshit that you're going to get in your little mystery boxes. You're going to get trash ass acrylics from no name companies that are probably three dollars an acrylic and then that's what they give you i was so upset with last month's but they topped it they somehow seemed to top it with two cheap models one poly gels a baby slip solution a fucking two dollar bullshit bruh you could get like an eight set of these for like six dollars on amazon like an 8 cent. Because I've bought them before. And six glitter gels that they give for free. Once you spend a certain amount of money. I am so pissed off at this trash ass company i will never support them again and karma's a bitch and that is why they're not selling monthly boxes anymore because of shit like this because they're scam artists yeah they knew that they were going to be shutting down their monthly but they dragged us along so that they could rip us off and make a profit before they stopped doing the monthly boxes yeah and that's really messed up for the people that have stayed with you for how long now i've been with you for over a year now and this is the repayment that we get for sticking around and giving you 30 dollars of our money every month this is what we get a cheap ass two poly gel set kit that's worth it's not worth 30 dollars this is not worth $30 at all. Nail Boxy sucks. As the integrity of their company, it, their morale, I will never ever support anything. Red Iguana, Nail Boxy, nothing. Nothing ever again. Nothing. They're trash. I will never buy any of their mystery bags. Nothing like that. Ever. I am pissed off that they really thought they did something. Oh, they did something. I mean, they ripped us off. But I really, I'm like shocked that they thought that people were going to accept this for $30. Really? You think that a uh, 99 cent base gel and top coat? Some two fucking poly gels that are worth like three dollars each a brush that's like worth 50 cents because you could literally get like an eight pack for six dollars or whatever not doing the uh the breakdown but and then a tester of slip solution and eight or six stupid fucking glitters really pathetic pathetic as a company that you would rip off your loyal customers like that i hope and pray that i never ever become like like y'all ever in the future i hope that i stay humble and have integrity for my followers and for the people that watch me.
Because I would never rip off people like this. Like, really? Really? <laughs> like, this poly gel sucks. Everyone knows Models 1 sucks. Seriously? Like, yeah, their gel polishes are good. You didn't, you couldn't even give us acrylics? Oh, because the acrylics were too expensive. The acrylics were more expensive than the poly gel, because, I mean, they sell poly gel for a couple dollars when they're on sale. So I can only imagine what a big company bought. I mean, if you're buying thousands of dollars worth of products, oh my God, you probably got like 70% off the pricing. I could only imagine what you got, but I will make sure that people understand why I'm so pissed off so that um, you lose customers and you, you lose money. I hope that uh, we could somehow pay you back for us ripping us off last month and then ripping us off this month. Because it's actually sad that y'all knew. Y'all knew y'all were making that decision to end it. And instead of going out with a bang and showing your loyal customers appreciation, you ripped us off instead. So, thank you. Thank you. Because now I will trash you any possible time that I can. And when people ask me about a red iguana, I will make sure I tell them about this also and why I do not support your company. Yeah. So I hope you guys have a good day. And karma's a bitch. That's probably why y'all got screwed over. Because that the factory or whatever you're having problems with Y'all probably try to screw them over too, and they just gave you a good one. So y'all probably deserved it. So, yeah. But anyways, y'all, um, I would not support Nailboxy ever again. That's just me. I just won't. I think it's really bullshit what they did. And this whole box is, I mean, the glitters I could probably use. Um, I mean, I don't even know what kind of glitters they are. They're the, probably the typical glitters that I have already because once you buy a certain amount, like I usually will spend like $100 like I used to like last year with Models 1 and trust me, they give you all kind of free stuff. Like, oh my gosh, I used to get so much free stuff. Yeah, it's just typical glitter. Like, like clear with iridescent glitters in it and stuff like that but yeah so i will be giving away this poly gel the brush the slip solution i'll be giving away all of this stuff actually so i will be making a video and uh posting it just because I know I'm not going to use it, so there's no point in, um, in keeping it. So, I will be giving this away. So, comment below, um, if you guys want it. If somebody wants it, if you guys, if you don't have, um, if you want to try out poly gel or, you know, um, you know, you can't afford it, please comment. Like, you have to like subscribe to my youtube subscribe subscribe to my tiktok and subscribe to my instagram so i will be posting those in um the description so um yeah so this is a giveaway i will be giving away the base coat top coat the dual forms this is clear poly gel this is zero zero four i'm assuming it's like a nude but these are, I mean, these are one ounce. So, little baby slip solution and a size 8 brush. These are cheap brushes. I do use them. I like them. But it's just the point that they are really cheap. I mean, you can get like an 8 or 12 pack of these, like different sizes, other stuff, for like $6 on Amazon. But 
um yeah so boom boom dual form all this so please comment below let me know why i should give it to you please put your tiktok handle so that i know that you're following me on tiktok and your instagram handle um yeah just comment below let me know why you want it and i hope you guys have a blessed day i'm sorry that i was ranting it just really pisses me off that they would end their company as far as the monthly boxes this way is it the i mean i know i was talking shit is it the worst products not really but they're not worth no 30 dollars like they probably got this shit for like ten dollars so they made a twenty dollar profit off of us pretty much yeah like ten fifteen dollars at the most especially with the way they get deals because they're a huge company so they buy by the thousands oh yeah they definitely got this for next to nothing that's what pisses me off um that they couldn't even give us like charms they couldn't give us anything that was actually good any of the stuff that they actually gave us good i used to love their boxes and now i hate them so but anyways comment below let me know i will put my information uh down in the description box i hope you guys have a great day Mwah. i love you guys bye